This is Smart Link Programming. First, take a device, input, create your input. We're going to use this test input here. Test, panic. It's open all the time, closed. We're going to make it open because that's the way I've got it wired. Then we save it. So now we have told our system that we've got an input and we're going to monitor it all the time and it's going to be open. Next, we're going to make a task. The reason we're going to make a task is we want that input to do something. So we're going to click New. And we're going to do lockdown. Lockdown. Then we're going to go through here. We're going to make the task. So we're going to take um, this right here. We're going to select our input. And then we are going to Component type. Oh, we're not going to select our input. We're going to select our door. We're going to lock the door. And uh, we're just going to call it the front door. Okay. Then we're also going to we're going to go here, we're going to hit enter, and then we're going to go and we're going to door, we're going to disable reader, same door, click OK. So what this is, is this is the lockdown task. So how this works is when the input goes into alarm it's going to lock door and these are the identification numbers for the door and then it's going to disable the reader same identification number so now that we've got our task we're going to save it we're going to go to our event trigger we're going to make a new event trigger and this is going to be locked down and then in the lockdown we're going to go to the component type we're going to select an input, a single. We're going to select our input we just created, the task panic. And then we're going to watch it all the time. And then we're going to go over here to SmartLink, any online SmartLink. you got to make sure the SmartLink and your software is running. Then we're going to go to Email Lockdown Task. Okay? So what this does is um, the input is going to be this specific input and then it's going to be monitored all the time and then this is the task that we just built it's going to lock down and uh, disable the reader now what we want to do is we want to look at events input activated input in alarm is what we want to use because when it goes into alarm that's the the event we want to generate so that our event trigger functions. Now we save it. Now, here's the thing. We need to build another task. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the lockdown task, but we're going to do it again. We're going to create a new one, and we're going to do a lockdown return. The reason we're doing this is when the event clears, when the uh, input comes back to normal, then we're going to take our door, and we're going to return it to door back to schedule, and then we're going to select our door, and we're going to click OK, and then we're going to hit Enter, and we're going to do the same thing. We are going to enable the reader. So door, enable reader, select our door, click OK. 
So now our command and our task basically returns the door to schedule. So if it was on a schedule, it's going to unlock. If it was not on a schedule, it's not going to change the state of the door. If it, uh, But at the same time, it's going to enable the reader and turn the reader back on so the reader works. So now we've saved that. We're going back to event trigger. And now we've got uh, lockdown. But now we're going to make a new one, lockdown return. Lockdown return. And then there we're going to take our input. We're going to do a single component, our input. Again, is going to be our test panic, whichever one you decided. We're going to always valid, so we're monitoring it all the time. And then task builder, we're going to do lockdown return. But now on our event, input restored in normal condition. Save it. Okay, so now if we watch the events here, let me do something. So we're just going to watch the events from this information. So if we go to input, devices, input, and we select our input. Now, I'm going to fool it by doing this, but it should run two things. As you see here, it says door back to schedule by operator because the input was in alarm. See how it says input restored in normal condition? Now it says door back to schedule by operator reader enabled so now my reader is good but if I open it and I click that oh look I got input and alarm test panic it locked the door and it disabled the uh, reader okay so I need to fix it or my system is not going to be functioning okay so now I'm back to normal so that's how you do it